Ah, <sighs> family. Can't live with them, and you can't live without them. You live here now, don't you? I don't know. It's non canonical. You're not just getting a slice of life, you're getting the whole pie. How blessed are some people whose lives have no fears, no dreads. For though the world seems full of good men, there are monsters in it. But don't worry, jolly old England has it covered with the Helsing Organization. Founded by famous vampire hunter Abraham Van Helsing and led by his descendant Integra, this secret government institution has saved the world time and again with their secret weapon. And what better weapon to hunt vampires than with one of their very own, the No-Life King, the Bird of Hermes, Alucard. To most, his origin was shrouded in mystery. But under Helsing's employ, he was molded into an elite hunter, made even more vicious by his intense hatred of his fellow vampire kind. A hatred that he expresses with two of the gnarliest handguns you'll ever pray to your infinite god to never see in person. Alucard's primary sidearm is the Castle, a behemoth of a handgun able to kill most undead in one shot with holy bullets that can nullify a vampire's healing factor. The Jekyll is the handgun she told you not to worry about. 16 inches long and weighing 35 pounds, it's armor-piercing, hollow-point bullets, jacketed in blessed Macedonian silver, were built to annihilate the toughest monsters. And after decades of clandestine experimentation, Helsing enhanced Alucard's vampiric abilities far beyond the norm. Alucard can walk through walls, cast illusions, levitate, and move objects with his mind. Objects like, say, an ocean of over three million people's blood? That'd be an energy worth half a ton of TNT. His psychic prowess allows him to read minds, communicate telepathically, hypnotize with a glance, and see through hallucinations with his third eye. He's not a triclops. It's more of a sixth sense that lets him hit bullseyes from a kilometer away and even predict your movements. Kind of like the Sharon gun. Of course, he wouldn't be a real vampire if he couldn't drink blood. The catch is, when he drinks enough blood to kill you, he literally absorbs your soul. And that right there is the source of his most fearsome ability. You just can't kill the son bitch! Shoot him into Swiss cheese, blow his ass to smithereens, turn him into a literal blood puddle? He'll just regenerate his body lickety split! Like we've seen some overpowered healing factors on this show before, but Alucard's is just bullshit! While he does possess blood and organs like a regular human, Alucard's body is, in reality, composed of an ethereal, shadow-like substance that he can morph any way he wants. This allows him to shapeshift and instantly heal any wound, and each soul Alucard has consumed acts as an extra life that he can spend whenever he's fatally injured. Kind of like a video game. And after 500 years of unlife, Alucard has consumed literally millions of souls. Sounds like my ex-wife. <laughs> Your ex-wife has killed millions of people and devoured their souls in order to harness them in a crusade against the forces of darkness, blurring the line between those who stare into the abyss and the abyss that stares back? Yeah, she's a real bitch. Well, come back next week for our long-awaited Halloween episode, Dio vs. Alucard. In the meantime... Oh god, she's coming! I can feel her!